Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Vlogmas number two. As I said in my previous video, I am going to try my hardest to keep up with Vlogmas. And if you did see yesterday's video, we did put up the Christmas tree. So to keep it sort of more festive, I've come to you with a sheen haul. Sort of more festive. I mean to keep it somewhat festive. Now, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that I have already posted a few of these bits over there. So if you don't follow my TikTok, I'm going to put a screenshot of it here so you can do that as well. So the reason I want to do a Sheen haul is because I think to myself it's just so cheap and there's so many good things on there. So I'm going to show you a few things I've picked up and also maybe you can add them to your wish list for this Christmas. So yeah, let's get straight into today's video. First thing from this haul is going to be what I'm wearing right now. How insane is this Sheila? So I've seen it all over Boohoo, I've seen it all over I think Zara as well. I think they sell one that's quite similar to this. I just cannot get over how insane this looks. You can pair it with an all black outfit like I've done or you can pair it with all white. It does have sort of like that bog material to the inside of it. One thing I will say, because it's fur leather, fish. I'm only going to say that and you'll know exactly what I mean. Obviously that smell will go. Every sort of like fur leather has that smell to it I feel. But nonetheless, it is still a gorgeous Sheila. It does sort of give like biker vibes to it as well. I like how cool it makes an outfit. You can definitely style an outfit up with this. And I love how it's sort of like an oversized Sheila. See how it's not fitting to me perfectly. That's what I like about it. It's not like super tight. I do absolutely love the fit of this. Again, the inside, super fluffy, super soft. It's definitely going to keep you warm. You could also add a scarf to it if you wanted to. Just for that sort of like extra layer. I mean, it does kind of cover up the coat. But if you was pair a white scarf with it, I feel like it goes perfectly with the cuffs of the actual gilet itself. Gilets are always going to be an autumn winter essential, especially in my wardrobe. I feel like you could easily just pair it with the same thing that I've done underneath. So I've just got a black high neck turtleneck on. Easy, good to go. Or you could just chuck a hoodie on underneath and then you do also have that added layer to it as well. It's going to keep you nice and cosy. Again, like I said before, super easy to style. You really can't go wrong with the quality of this. What more could you want from a gilet? I think we should judge it up a little bit from coats. I feel like I am the coat connoisseur at this point, but you're probably going to get bored of seeing them. So, I've decided to pick up a pair of boots. Now, these aren't like the standard pair of boots that I pick up necessarily. I really do like my chunky, like, wintery boots. Whereas these, I just feel like they look extremely classy. They also make your legs look a lot longer than they actually are as well. Again, they're white, so they're going to go with more or less anything. If you've got, like, a colourful outfit, or if you've got an all white or an all black outfit, it's going to go perfect. These look amazing with like a long trench coat or a long oversized wool coat. You could even put a blazer with these. They're just that type of boot where they're really classy. So they're going to be really easy to style. And they didn't just have them in white as well. I believe they had them in black. So if you don't want to go completely out there with a pair of boots and you want to get the black ones, definitely do. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with these. I'm going to show you the boots up close and then you can actually see what the quality on these is like. So obviously, again, it is that fake leather material. Really comfy and spongy just on the inside. And then they are a pointed toe as well. I wouldn't say the heel is that high. I feel like it's that perfect heel. You know, you can get them boots where they're too high, you can't walk in them. And then there's them where you want a little bit of height to them. So it like zhuzhes up your outfit a little bit. These are that happy medium. I would definitely wear these when I'm going Christmas shopping or even to like the Christmas markets. Boots just keep you warm and the elevator outfit. So I don't know what it is recently, but I have been buying skinny jeans. Now I know 360, nobody wears skinny jeans anymore. I don't care. Buy what you want, wear what you want. It doesn't have to be in fashion. I picked up these ones from Sheen, not only because I really like the gray color of these. I don't think I own a pair of gray skinny jeans, but they're also flared at the bottom and they have that split hem. One thing I love about flared split hem jeans like this is, oh my god, the shape. So obviously they sit nice on your waist and then because they have that flare at the bottom, it sort of gives you that really nice hourglass figure. My only thing I would say about these is that when you've worn them, do you know when you get leggings from Primark and they like stretch, they don't go back to their normal size, they look like a little bit baggy on you. That's what these are like. Yeah, it is mainly on like the bum area and the knee area. They do go a little bit baggy, but apart from that, they are a gorgeous pair of jeans. Again, grey. Gonna go with anything. This is all about easy to style. You don't want to buy something where you're going to be like, how on earth am I going to style that? Have a simple base and then work you out from there. And I'd like your coats and things like that. I really do like the quality of these, apart from obviously them being a little bit baggy. But comfort wise, I think they've hit the spot. They're also, if you can see, super stretchy as well so don't be afraid to size down in these because like i said super stretchy should we move on to a coat 
do you know what? I'm just going to put it on. I know you're going to see it in the try on clip, but I feel like I'm going to have to actually wear it to show it justice. Hear me out. With this hair and this jewellery, it's definitely giving Matrix vibes. If I was to wear all black sleek sunglasses right now, wow. So it's giving I love blue, I love trench coats, I love leather. I'm going to wear what I want. This is a very bold coat. If you're the type of girl out there that you don't care what other people think and you want to wear a coat that... It's just really out there. That is literally the only way I can describe it. This is going to be perfect for you. Again, unfortunately, it is faux leather, so it does have that fish smell to it. We will not be speaking about that anymore. However, it is super cosy. Obviously, I've got it on over an all-black outfit. I feel like that's the easiest way to style it at this point. All black, maybe even put a black scarf on, some black boots, and you are good to go. I love this coat. Just imagine you're walking around the Trafford Centre, you're doing some ow oh, rude you're doing some christmas shopping this is that sort of coat where if you're going out shopping and you want to dress up a little bit it's going to be perfect for you it is really warm as well i want to say it's actually quite thick and also it is lined on the inside it's not got like the leather on the inside as well because could you imagine how uncomfortable that would be but yeah it is that type of coat that makes a very bold statement and even if you're not one of those girls that buys like very bold clothing just try it you might actually be quite surprised it is that sort of trench coat style to it one thing I love about this the most is how oversized is the collar on this, my favourite thing. It really does just make it look a bit more expensive. And then it does also have the belted like strap as well. One thing I love to do, this is my trick, is I like to tie it at the back. Obviously do it in a bow so it's a little bit nicer than how I've done it. But then it just keeps it open at the front for you so the coat isn't like completely swamping you. This coat is definitely a Marmite situation. You either love it or you hate it. I have just taken that coat off because shock horror. I have another one. This one is to die for. She's giving Barbie. She's giving again. Bold statement. I don't care. I'm going to wear exactly what I want. I'm in love with this. An all leather biker gilet moment but obviously in such a gorgeous pink colour. Love how it's got the really big buckles around the bottom. It makes it look a bit more expensive and a bit more like they've put thought into actually creating this instead of just chucking it together. Again the fit is absolutely immaculate. I think this has not super chunky shoulder pads in it but it's definitely got some added material here and i think that's going to help keep the shape of the gilet one thing i would pair with this is i wouldn't do all black underneath i'd definitely do all white just because i've seen some pink uggs going around could you imagine how cute this would look with pink uggs all white pink gilet pink uggs perfect especially for my girls out there that love pink as well obviously i showed you the blue coat previously if you're not into blue but you do like pink you definitely need to buy this one because it is that sort of biker style it does give you a bit more of an edgy look obviously it's got the pockets at either side it's got a pocket here as well do i really need to say anything else about the sheila listen i don't buy simple things around here i buy things that make a statement as you can see <laughs> just quickly taking a look at the detail on the shoulder as well i love how it goes more pointed there and there is also sort of like a ribbed effect to it i think it's got a lot going for it this blazer Gilet, not blazer. <laughs> Last but certainly not least is an autumn winter essential I feel in your wardrobe. Basically the same as what I'm wearing right now. How can I speak? However, it's white. I feel like we all need basic tops like this. The way I see this is in the summer and the spring we've got like a ton of crop tops, don't we? We've got like the basic essentials so that we can build an outfit however we want. We need that in autumn, winter as well. You need a black turtleneck, a white one, maybe even get yourself a beige one as well. The key, in my opinion, to building an outfit is the base. So the base of your outfit is what's going to make your bags, your shoes and your coats pop. Love the quality of this. It's not see-through whatsoever. I know we have quite a few problems where we're actually trying to find white leggings and white tops and them being see-through but because this is such a thick quality it's not see-through at all. Obviously it's white so it's not going to be completely opaque but nonetheless it is still good quality. And I like how the high neck isn't rolled like this one as such that I'm wearing here. It is just literally a standard high neck top. Obviously it is long sleeved as well. I don't think I need to waffle on about a white turtleneck anymore. Things like this are just key in your wardrobe. These and leggings I must have. I do think I have a discount code for Sheen, so if you do, I'm going to leave it on the screen for you as well as down below. I am going to start linking things as well now. I know I'm really bad at doing things like that. I really need to link things down below so that they're easier for you guys to find. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully there is going to be some more Sheen hauls. And give me some ideas down below as well. What things do you want to see for Vlogmas? Because 
I'm supposed to be uploading a video for every single day. It's currently the 30th of November. I have two videos going up. I don't know what I'm posting. But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. As always, if you do like this video, make sure you smash it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more. And I will see you in tomorrow's video, hopefully. Bye.